Well, my dad at the time was working in Manchester. Um, I'm sort of assuming he was working on the Here's Harry series, the Harry Worth series at the time, because they were all filmed in Manchester. I was only a little girl at the time, I was only 11, and we watched This Is Your Life every week. My dad absolutely loved watching it. But a couple of weeks before his programme was actually filmed, he turned to my mum and said, please don't ever get me involved in that. And I think the reason for that was because my dad was actually quite a private person. You know, he, he was a comedian, but he, he kept his private life very quiet and he was shy. And I don't think he wanted the world to know about his, you know, his home life. We just recently moved to a new house and unfortunately we didn't have a telephone and so my poor mum had, had to pop down to the town near enough every day to make phone calls, you know, arranging things, telling them who to contact, who would be a good idea to have on the show and having to come back with just one article she'd bought, bag of frozen peas, to my dad saying, you've been out three hours, you've got a bag of peas. <laughs> the first thing I knew about it, my mum had kept it totally quiet because as 11 years old I think she was frightened I was going to blab it to everybody. I'd gone off to school in the morning as normal um, and the first thing I knew was the headmistress had called me into her office which frightened the life out of me. I thought I was in trouble but it wouldn't have been the first time. <laughs> so in I went to be told that a chauffeur was going to collect me and my mum was coming with the chauffeur and we were being driven to, uh, to the airport to go to Manchester. Um, so it wasn't until I got in the car with my mum that she explained what was going on. Um, I think I was probably excited, well I was excited, but I think I was more excited about getting the day off school than actually <laughs> going on This Is Your Life. We took our dog with us, Susie, um, who was a little terrier, who was absolutely petrified of everybody and everything and I think we both my mum and myself were more worried about the poor dog having to be put in the hold on the aeroplane than we were about being filmed on This Is Your Life. Um, my mum was actually, uh, before she married my dad she was a singer so she was theatrical as well so she'd got an idea of you know having to talk or, or sing in front of people I would no idea, you know, I'd only done school plays and that sort of thing. But um, when we got on the plane, after settling the poor dog, um, we, Eamon and Andrews were sat next to my mum and going through the script and what, you know, what they were going to ask her and the sort of answers they expected to come back with and then he came and sat with me. I don't know if I read the script or Eamon sort of talked me through the questions. He was going to ask me what I did with my dad, what the home life was like and from um, what I've read of the script now, um, it was a, the fact that my dad used to take me bike riding which was totally true. I mean we used to go everywhere on our bikes together and um, he used to take me swimming and the fact that my dad wasn't a very good swimmer and I think my answer was, um, was your dad a good swimmer? No, not frightfully so, which I can't believe I would have actually said. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we, you know, it was scripted, but whether I kept to it, I can't remember. Well, my dad always appeared to be very laid back. Um, and, I, I, and all I can remember that he was doing something for charity and he had to push over um, a pile of, of pennies, a large pile of pennies for charity. And, um, there were cameras there and everything, so I don't think he was aware at first why he was being filmed until obviously uh, Eamon Andrews walked up with the big red book. Well, there was Norman Vaughan, who was, I mean, he was a family friend anyway. Um, I can't remember his wife's name, but he had a son called Lawrence, and Lawrence and I were much the same age, so, and they lived quite near to us, so we knew them anyway, so really, it wasn't anything special seeing Norman there, he was just my dad's mate. Johnny Ammons, yes, <laughs> I did know him. Well, he worked with my dad for years and years. The fact that I was going to bring the dog on with me, which, um, <laughs> which was going to be quite funny, and it was quite funny, because this poor old dog was so frightened of everybody. And as soon as I was told to go on the stage, I was dragged across the stage by the dog who promptly jumped on my dad's lap and sat on his lap for the rest of the, the bit while I was with him. 
as I say, he was quite a shy person, and I think he, having all his family come on, I think he was quite surprised, very surprised, that they'd managed to contact them all, but of course they hadn't. My mum had probably contacted them all for them. Well, I think people, they like to see the stars, but I think a lot of people, and people still do, they want to know what people's home life is about. I think that's just as important, on it, because this is your life, isn't just about um, the stars they've worked with. It's about the home life as well. And also the fact that my dad started life as a minor. And that is why, you know, um, the, the, the band was involved as well, because that's what his life was. You know, he hadn't always been Harry Worth. <laughs> he started up, you know, as a 14 year old lad, come straight out of school and straight down a mine. And I think, although he said jokingly, don't get me involved in this, I think really and honestly he was very pleased to do it, you know, it was an honour really.